Today, I'm going to be making baked caramel corn. Uh, this is from the October 19. 81 edition of Southern Living Magazines, and I have all my ingredients right in front of me. So you can see it does not take many ingredients. You need three quarts of freshly popped popcorn. So we bought the just the Meyer brand, touch of butter, you could get whatever uh, you wanted. Um, I tried to get the um, uh, one that doesn't have a lot like movie theater butter or whatever this just has a touch of butter so I thought that would be good and we're gonna use one bag one bag we're gonna pop it in the microwave so that it's fresh one bag uh, you need a half a cup of chopped pecans half a cup of butter or margarine that's basically one stick of butter one cup of firmly packed brown sugar a fourth cup of light corn syrup, and I kept this up just so you could see it. We use the Cairo light corn syrup. I'm sure other brands are perfectly fine. Uh, you need a half a teaspoon of salt, which you can't see, but it's there, <laughs> white on white, right? Uh, a fourth teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, well, you want to preheat your oven to 300 degrees, and I'm going to uh, pop my popcorn, uh, my one bag of popcorn, and then I'll be back. My popcorn has been in the microwave. I'm sure there are some kernels in there, but I'm not bothered about it. So now you want to take your uh, pecans, your chopped pecans, pour them in there, and just, <laughs> it says to mix them together. Guess what happened to all those pecans? They went straight to the bottom of that bowl. That was kind of a joke, wasn't it? <laughs> that was, that was a funny. Okay, so <laughs> we'll work it out when we get it on the, the, I call this a cookie sheet. They call it a jelly roll pan. That to me, it's just a cookie sheet. Uh, so you want to pour this out. Yeah, there's all my pecans. So guess what? I don't know how you're supposed to mix those in. I mean, that's really hilarious that... The <laughs> ah, that did not work out well at all. Okay. Hilarious. Well... You know your nuts are gonna get toasted because they're all on the bottom. I mean, you don't have any choice, right? So in this saucepan, I'm going to melt my butter. That is my stick of butter that I put in there. If you wanna speed this process up, you could go ahead and melt this in the microwave and then pour it into your pot. Now you want to add your brown sugar, your salt, and your corn syrup. And you're going to mix these together, and you're gonna let this come to a boil. When it comes to a boil, you're gonna set a timer uh, for five minutes. Do not stir it. Let it boil for five minutes and don't touch it. I'm going to um, not do what the directions recommended because the directions said to put the popcorn on this baking sheet and you saw what happened. All of the nuts went to the bottom. So, I'm gonna pour my popcorn and my nut mixture back into this bowl. We're gonna, we're gonna go off, sometimes, sometimes, that's the thing about recipes and that's why I tell you all, don't be afraid to write in your recipe books and even though this is Southern Living Magazine, I will write in my magazines because I don't throw them away. I will write in the magazine uh, any modifications that I had to make, if I liked it or not, if I would make it again, you know, <clears throat> and so on. Um, so 
um, I will, will write on this one definitely, I'm going to keep this mixture in the bowl because, let me tell you why, because once that mixture starts boiling that I showed you, we're going to take it off the heat and then we're going to stir in our baking soda and our vanilla. Well, then they wanted you to pour it over your popcorn and pecans that were already on your cookie, your jelly roll pan. They wanted you to pour it over the top and they wanted you to stir until the popcorn was evenly coated. Now, how hard would it have been to stir it on this pan? It doesn't make any sense at all. So, and you know what? My way might not work either. We're going to find out. So, I'm going to do everything they said, but I'm going to pour that wet mixture in here. I'm going to stir it in here and then I'm going to put it on my pan. That makes much more sense to me. So, you can see over here, my mixture has just, it's just now starting to get bubbles. So, I have a timer set for five minutes on my phone. And I'm going to give it, yeah, it's just starting to bubble. So, I'm going to go ahead and set that timer for five minutes and let that boil and then we'll be back. Okay, I'm taking this off the heat now. And you want to stir in your baking soda and your vanilla. And I tell you, I've been, while during that five minutes that was boiling, I've been thinking about this process even more. Um, I would, if I were making this again and knew better, I would not have added my pecans at all to the popcorn yet. I would um, have put uh, my pecans, after you pour this over the top, um, I would put my pecans on top right now so they would stick into this liquid mixture. And I know I don't have the camera quite on you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it. Um, I would put my pecans in right now. That way it's going to stick because right now... They're all on the bottom, and we're having to bring them up from the bottom, and see, you wouldn't have to do that if you waited, if you uh, put them on top of that mixture. So, you know, just the little things you might want to consider if you decide to try this. I have never um, even considered making my own caramel popcorn. Uh, you know, it's... It's readily available, and, um, you know, I've, I've never had it homemade. I don't think I've ever been, like, to a party or to anyone's home, even as a child. Um, I had a friend uh, who did those uh, popcorn balls one year. Um, she was doing them for Halloween one year, and I thought, oh, well, that's the coolest thing, because we never did anything like that. But I never knew anyone who made their own caramel corn. Uh, so this is, um, and I love the idea of using the pecans. I think that's a terrific idea. But I just think it could have been done a little differently. That's all. So I'm just, I'm trying to make sure I've got those pecans up from the bottom. And I'm also trying to make sure that I have a little bit of that caramel on all the popcorn. Okay, so now you want to move over to your uh, cookie sheet. You want to, I'm going to move it. Okay, now spread this popcorn out on the cookie sheet. trying to break apart these big lumps and then of course if you're if you're using parchment paper like me then make sure you take whatever clips you used take those off and this is going to bake at 300 degrees which is really low uh, you're gonna um, bake it for 30 minutes but after 15 minutes, you're going to stir it. So I'm going to set my, uh, with, I'm sure it's more 
like flipping, you're gonna flip it over rather than stir. I don't see any stirring you're gonna be able to do with this. Um, but I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes. I'm gonna take it out. I won't, probably won't show you that part because uh, I'll do it quickly, but I'll flip it all over, put it in for an additional 15 minutes, and then we'll be back. So this is how it looks after the full 30 minutes. I did flip it over. I took a, a spatula and I, I just went through and I flipped it over at 15 minutes and it was actually like wet. It, uh, you know, where it had boiled, that, that uh, caramel was thick. So then you put it in the oven and it thins out and it, it turns more liquidy. So uh, now uh, leaving it in for the additional 15 minutes, it's dried up more. So now you want to wait until it cools completely because it's going to be hot as lava so you're not going to be able to touch it without burning yourself so wait until it cools completely and then break it apart so it says to when it once it's cooled off which look it, com it, <laughs> it comes like off in a sheet like this just break it apart and then I have a ball I guess you can't see my ball I have a ball over here and I'm gonna break it apart and put it in the ball like this so yeah it comes off like this so you will have to use your hands for this part, but that's okay. And just break it apart. And you can leave big clumps if you wanted to. Like if, I like to, when I'm eating popcorn, I like to eat like clusters of popcorn. I'm, some people are really dainty and they'll eat one piece at a time. And that's totally not me. Because <laughs> I want to get like um, at least a cluster, like two or three pieces and pop that into my mouth. So I'm going to break all this apart and then we'll be back to give it a try. This recipe was submitted to Southern Living by Mrs. W.P. Chambers in Louisville, Kentucky. So that's pretty cool to get somebody from Kentucky. I've seen other recipes in Southern Living from people in Kentucky. I think that's nice. I don't even know how you go about doing that. Um, or if you still can. Or if you still can. Yeah, this is from 1981. Like I said, October. I was telling you the story about my friend <clears throat> who made the uh, the popcorn balls. And it makes sense. That was in October. That was around Halloween. So I guess people associate the caramel corn or apples or whatever around Halloween fall. time. Yeah, fall. Okay. Oh my gosh. That should be called crack. The texture is unreal. <laughs> the texture is unbelievable. It's like the popcorn doesn't actually exist. Mm -mm. It's like it turns into this like sugary, crumbly kind of mm -hmm. candy. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, if you tried that, you would never buy caramel corn again. You'd mm -hmm. never buy it again because you would want to make your own. Mm -hmm. You know, if a company was smart, mm -hmm. they would copy this recipe and make it mass produce it. Uh, the, yes, that is absolutely, it is like at the top top tier sweet but it is absolutely delicious um the uh, by the way the um as you saw when i was pulling it off the parchment paper so glad i used parchment paper because the pan is completely clean the only thing i have in the sink right now to wash because i do the dishes as i go is the spatula i used um because this stuff will stick in your pan and you just need to um run really 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 hot water in your pan to get it out um because they wanted you to grease your pan i can't even imagine doing that if you grease that pan because you're going to have caramel stuck to that pan whereas not one thing stuck to the parchment paper um, but so i would do it um, a little differently you know like we discussed as we were going along in the video but as far as the flavor and the basic recipe, that is a five out of five recipe. That's that good is, stuff. It is, wait, well, you see how good it is. Yeah, it, I could just sit He has, 
And well, and you can pick, you, you can pick like, okay, which is the piece that has the most pecans? And you could add even more pecans. If you, you know, the pecans is secondary for me. Really? I love the pecans. I get the flavor of the pecans for sure, mm -hmm. but it's that sugary, it's all about the texture for me. That sugary, crumbly, powdery mm -hmm. sugar kind of texture, that's, that's what's got it. Mm -hmm. I can sit here and, yeah. We'll save this if we have any left. And we'll watch a movie later and we can sit on the couch and share. Mm-hmm. Um, it says... If I don't eat it all the morning. I know. <laughs> it says store in airtight containers. And it makes nine cups is what it says. Um, of course, I put it... This is the October edition. I put it in a little Halloween bowl. I know we're a little early. We don't mind. Please, 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 please try this. Please make this. Debbie's yeah, got to take it away from me. Because you're going to love it. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to love it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.